welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm excited for today's pick a card. Today we're going to see the next unexpected twist that you do not see coming in love. Who is coming in to surprise you? Who is coming in unexpectedly? That is our pick a card. So my Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Other than that, you can pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile for all of my readings. We have group one with the white stone, group two with the orange stone, group three with the yellow stone, and group four with the green stone. So like I said, pause the video if you need more time with the piles, but we're just going to get right into it. All right, if you chose group one with the white stone, this is your reading using the Gilded Tarot Royale for you. And we're going to see the unexpected twist you do not see coming, Spirit. This is for group one with the white stone. What unexpected twist is coming in love for group one? Ooh, we have the alignment card. I just heard right place, right time. So there is a connection that I feel like may be a little unlikely or hard to manifest, hard to get this alignment it's finally coming together. Oof. Got all these other cards that want to jump out. Spirit for group one. What is the unexpected twist they don't see coming? First of all, you guys, you're having a glow up. Uh, or there is some sort of transit in your chart happening right now where it's like, I'm telling you, look at your natal chart. Um, check your transits because there's something happening where it's like an abundance of love offers coming in. So if you have like any of those astrology apps that let you know like your transits, look at the long term transits. Uh, those are going to be, you know, the ones that are really going to affect you for like just a longer period of time. They're in effect. Um, but we have abundance. I'm seeing an, uh, an abundance of love offers coming through to you, like more than one. And then we also have the being bold card. So people are being really bold when it comes to you, when it comes to expressing their feelings for you. They're being honest about how they feel. They're admitting that they're feeling something. And you're just having like back to back to back romantic encounters and experiences with people who are being bold, really trying to get with you, not even trying to hide their intentions, approaching you, flirting with you. <coughs> and like I said, I really feel like this is the result of a glow up, a manifestation, or something going on in your chart something transiting your natal chart that's making you like a hot commodity because it really does feel like everything is happening all at once and it's like so back to back. Spirit for group one. And honestly, I see this making someone a bit jealous. We have keeping watch in Playa and we have control here. So it's like you're finally at the space that you told this person you were going to come to. I feel like you gave this person a chance like, listen, whether it's with your nonverbal communication or a heart to heart conversation, I feel like there's been some sort of communication. Again, even if it's nonverbal, like this is what I'm about or this is what I'm looking for. So like for an example, you can tell someone something by like say someone, you know, that you're on a date and then they start cracking like, you know, dirty jokes. They're going to notice by your reaction whether what kind of person you are. Like if you laugh at it, they're going to tell, oh, you're e either on what I'm on or you're someone who doesn't put up much of a fight. You're someone who doesn't have very strong boundaries. Or if you flat out leave the date, okay, they're a serious kind of person. Like you can communicate with your nonverbals and that's just an example. Um, but someone who's been keeping watch on you, someone who's been keeping tabs on you, who's a player themselves, 
they're having some sort of triggering, some sort of control issue. They do not like that you're getting all this attention. So again, for some of you, this is a glow up and it's like, especially if you work for this with this person or go to school with this person, they're gonna have a lot of chances to see how other people react to you in those specific circumstances. So they'll get triggered a lot quicker and a lot easier and a lot more than someone who just sees you, you know, whenever you guys both have time to hang out or, you know, on social media and things like that. But even on social media, this person has been keeping tabs. They're going to notice your numbers going up on your account. They're noticing the attention that you're getting, like the amount of likes or interact interaction and engagement that you're getting. They may be noticing one specific person showing up under your comments time after time after time again with heart eyes and different things like that. They're being triggered in some way, somehow. You'll see depending on your specific situation. Like if you work with this person, okay, you know that, you know, this will play out uh, in the workplace because that's where you always see each other or, you know, you'll apply it, you know, to your specific situation. But there is a definitely an energy of you getting a lot of attention and that attracting someone from your past back to the forefront because they're like, what are you doing? They're, they're feeling their grasp like literally get looser and looser on you. And then we have the alignment card. It says same frequency at the bottom of that one. So I see you getting an alignment with a manifestation. I see abundance coming towards you. We got the competition card at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. There is some like drastic shift happening in your love life where all of a sudden you're getting a lot more attention than you used to. <clears throat> and everyone is like on your body and it's making the people who were like um, neutral on you. It's, it's giving them a lot more energy. They're, they're like growing a lot more intention because it's like, I have to move. I have to move because there's competition. This is just what you freaking needed, you guys. Like, I just really feel like this is what you needed. This is like the breakthrough, finally, that is really causing a significant change, a significant, like, positive shift. We have the hammer. It says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, rep repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So as you've been working on yourself, now it's like you're at your peak, like you're peaking right now. Energetically, you're peaking and everybody can freaking feel you. In the room, it's like when you walk in a room, the energy shifts, group one. I'm also picking up, I just heard specifically Scorpio rising, which obviously isn't gonna apply to everyone, but if you have like a really magnetic rising sign, uh, you may be coming into that in some way. You may be really resonating with your rising. You may be working with um, like uh, dark femininity or dark masculinity, uh, dark feminine goddesses or like Orishas. You may be working with Oshun. You may be working with Hecate. You may be working with Kali. Um, and then y'all let me know some male equivalents in the comments because I don't know like what dark femininity would look like. Well, I guess we could say like she half a met. <laughs> I'm not trying to shout him out. I'm like, I, I keep seeing uh, Lucifer Morningstar from the show though. Like I keep seeing that one. Um, but y'all let me know the male equivalents because <laughs> are there any that we like? You let me know. Anyways, we have not today and I like you. Uh, I like you says someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. So the unexpected twist that you don't see coming is that you're having a major glow up or there is something something happening uh, astrologically that's affecting you. This could even be like a, a transit that's happening. Um, it doesn't even have to be like your natal chart. It could be a transit that's happening just in your sign. Um, or within like three degrees of a placement that you have in your chart, um, within three degrees, whenever there's like a transit happening, if you and your natal chart within three degrees have, uh, the same transit or placement, it'll always affect you significantly stronger than other people. But then we also have the not today card. It says not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, and still angry. So I feel like this is definitely channeled towards this F-boy, F-girl you were dealing with, whoever this player is. 
that's all of a sudden trying to get your attention. It's just like the timing is too convenient. You can see straight through it. You're not fooled by them coming through all of a sudden all really excited and hyper about you talking about all these plans that they have and all this that they're trying to do. It's like literally where was that when I was trying to do it too? Now that I'm not trying to do it, now that I'm getting all this attention, now you're trying to go through with our plans, now you're regurgitating everything that I said to you, talking about that's what you want. Really? I don't, I, you're ducking them. You're ducking them. You're dodging them. Um, you're not dealing with this. I feel like you don't want to entertain it. If this is someone who's been bothering you on social media, you're like finally blocking them. Like if they've been, you know, DMing you here and there or just kind of like, you know, doing all this subliminal communication but nothing directly you're not entertaining that anymore you're only entertaining the connections that are in your face and you know people are proving this is what they want and to be honest I don't even feel like it's necessarily that they need to be in your face but I feel like you're just more inclined towards the new to be honest I feel like the fact that the other options you have that are around right now are new is just the perfect circumstance for you to actually lean in because you don't have a history with them the runner says uh, a runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy and listening to the ego so if you were in a runner chaser dynamic with someone we're talking about them that is the person we're tapping into and it looks like you're actually shifting into this runner energy with this not today energy coupled with it like stay back you demon like I'm not dealing with you now not now not ever stay back I'm not fooling with you spirit tell us more about the unexpected twists we have the hair fan so you know a lot of this is coming um I get a little bit of an energy of a delayed manifestation so if you've specifically been trying to manifest like an abundant partner or if you've been trying to manifest a very specific type of person like if you've been clear with spirit what exactly you're looking for um I see that alignment happening but again it's like something hair fan that you already know or you would already expect to come by now so maybe there was like a, a, a prophetic word spoken over you, spoken over your uh, love life, and it was been supposed to, you know, manifest, but it hadn't. You may know why by now. You may have received clarity as to why something didn't come through. I'm hearing 2022. And we have the devil in reverse and the six of swords in reverse. So that definitely talks about a delay, but that also talks about devil in reverse, like you ducking something like in a good way so i'm seeing the delay and with the four of swords in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse man that really sucks seven of pentacles in reverse you may have even stopped manifesting or you may have ducked off on your own manifestation after a while like maybe you only did half of it or you only did it half hazardly you started to lose faith um and we have the four of swords in reverse so spirit has been trying to get you not to internalize what has been happening but seven of swords or sorry seven of pentacles in reverse i really do feel like you maybe gave up on a manifestation or optimism towards a manifestation thinking about the manifestation waiting for it um you may have taken a break from manifesting because it didn't seem like anything was working and we have the hangman in reverse and the hierophant so you felt it coming you knew it was you know supposed to come and now it's finally coming through i just heard 2021 as well so this was something that was supposed to manifest within the last two years, but it hadn't come for whatever reason. And like I said, again, I feel like you already know why it didn't come. Like, I feel like you may have researched it, gotten a personal reading on it or something to figure out, okay, what's happening specifically in my situation? Why didn't this come? So you probably already know by now, but from what I can see, it just looks like devil in reverse. There was something in the way. I don't know why I'm thinking about Persephone right now. I'm seeing Persephone. And if you don't know about Persephone, um, I hope that's how you pronounce her doggone name. Because, chow, I be looking at that name and it's all of a sudden like my brain stops working. I'm like, poscophone? Anyways. But with her, you know, she spends half of the year um, in hell with Hades. And... Um, Spirit, when I first read that story, was bringing me to that story to show me that 
as a divine feminine, you have to protect yourself because you will attract the worst of the worst if you are someone who has a connection to the higher realms like Persephone. That was one of her gifts. And you have to kind of read between the lines and look at all the planets that... Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, but the point is she had this connected to the to the higher realms and spirit was showing me that story to show me that, listen, Hades has no connection to the higher realms. So Persephone spends six months in hell and it would be eternity if Demeter didn't start getting pissed and then throwing off the seasons. If you want to get into the mythology bag, I think it was Demeter. I don't have my phone in here. I don't get too much into the Greek pantheon. Um, but spirit was showing me that now. So with the devil in reverse, I feel like spirit is showing us that because it's like, even though you have your own path and you deserve to have certain things and you've even been in alignment with those things, there is something that you are not aware of that was about to swoop you up for eternity. Okay. Someone, a cycle, a, psh, listen, there was someone in your energy that if this glow up would have happened a month sooner, your entire timeline would have changed for the worst. Dum, dum, dum. <coughs> I mean, there's always opportunity to get out of negative situations, even if that is the case, even if there is a, um, you know, like a deviation or a detour. Um, so nothing is ever like forever. I don't really believe like an eternal damnation necessarily, but I'm telling you like a good five to 10 year cycle minimum. Um, so listen, there are many things that you cannot see. Uh, we have the five of cups in reverse and temperance and the sun here. Beautiful. Temperance let, lets me know that we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. We're good to move forward from here. Temperance means the energy has ba balanced out and whoever was in your energy that would have mishandled you or gotten you off your path is now out of the way. So sun card, you can have your, you know, happily ever after so that you can have your moment, you know, it's finally happening here. So there was definitely something five of cups in reverse. There was a delay. It's not here anymore. Temperance, that energy has been balanced out. And I'm noticing that she actually has a cup of water and a cup of fire in either of her hands. So there's an energy of you needing to also beef up your boundaries. So in the past year, or two, you may have been focused on friendships, coworker relationships, boundaries, family. That may have really been at the forefront of your life. And it's affected your romantic life because um, spirit has been using those situations to give you the boundaries and the strength that you need to be able to move forward with this connection. Now that whatever that devil card energy was has been cleared and removed out of your path, removed out of your way. We have spiritual strength, stand your ground, and wisdom, cards number five, seven, and nine. You may be seeing different combinations of fives, sevens, and nines. There's also that odd number synchronicity here happening. Um, but yeah, we have the spiritual strength card. So I feel like spirit's also been leading you to expand and grow spiritually to get closer to spirit. Um, spirit has also probably been helping you when it comes to like acceptance, patience, keeping yourself busy in the meantime, not focusing on the outcome, releasing and allowing spirit to handle certain things. And then again, the whole boundaries thing with the stand your ground card. And then you just needed some time to synth, synth uh, I cannot talk today to synthesize it all, to process it all. Um, so that you can turn that knowledge into wisdom. And so now you're either in the tail end of that process or you've already stepped into beyond that process uh, in your peaceful era where, yep, we have the eight with the power card where now you're sitting in your power, you're patient, you're waiting, you know who you are. We got that Lion Leo energy, your confidence is up, glow up. This could be a self-concept glow up. This could be a mental glow up, physical. I feel like it's spiritual and physical. 
but I'm also seeing mental. It took a lot of mentalism in the last year specifically to get to this point. So it's mind, body, and soul. You may be seeing 333 or 111. Yeah, look at this. We have the reason that some people have walked away from you with no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you to the next level. They have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go, keep moving, greater is coming. That is literally your mantra. If you made it to this far in the video, say greater is coming. Hashtag 333 or whatever angel number you've been seeing. We have this new chapter in your life is going to require a new way of seeing things and a new way of seeing yourself. You cannot continue to interpret things with the same understanding that you've had until now. No matter what you face or, or feel, see it from a higher perspective. So that's the space that you're already in, seeing things in a new perspective. That's what Spirit's really been working with you on um, for the last year. And then this one says, choice is the most powerful tool that you have. Every choice that you make shuts some doors, but it also opens several more doors. Bringing new experiences into your life at any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You're only one choice away. So continue to make choices. Get out of that analysis paralysis. I don't feel like a lot of you are, but if you are analyzing to the point where you just feel paralyzed and stuck, Try to go back to the drawing board, not making any choices, watching your comfort show, doing your comfort things, having your comfort meal, clearing that energy and coming back to it next week. And yeah, that's what I have for you, group one. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. That's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the orange stone, ooh, we got the magician at the bottom of the deck. We're using the golden art Nobu tarot for you today. And we shall see one un what unexpected twist you don't see coming, spirit. This is for group two with the orange stone. What unexpected twist is coming for them that they do not see and love for group two? Oh, I'm like, spirit, we already have multiple people coming up for you guys. I'm like, dang, is this the kind of reading we're doing today? This is what we're on? The chaotic energy is just so crazy right now. All right, we got nasty girl slash boy, secret affair, and reunion. <clears throat> so there is an old sneaky link <coughs> coming back. This could also be someone you had a uh, secret affair with. You know, specifically though, I'm feeling like it turned more of a sun, like more of a intimate, physically intimate kind of relationship. I don't feel like it started that way for whatever reason, just intuitively. The secret affair feels like it was much more conversational in the beginning where it's like, okay, I'm leaning on you, sharing with you what I got going on in my life. You're leaning on me, sharing with me what's going on in your life. But for some reason that was cut short. So it is looking like there is a reunion with that person. Okay. Now we also have reciprocity and perfections and alignment. So I see a connection coming in with someone who's kind of just loving and appreciating you for you. As cheesy as it sounds, this person really does embrace your imperfections and whatever you would personally consider to be um, like something that holds you back or something that gets you down or baggage. Whatever your perceived imperfections are, this person is coming through and loving them. And um, at the bottom of reci uh, reciprocity, it says on the same page, reciprocity is all about like an equal give and take where absolutely you're on the same page with someone, but they're specifically giving to you as much as you give to them, if not more. Definitely the feelings are reciprocal. So like say with this secret affair, for an example, 
you couldn't get that reciprocity because you would do nice things for them, but they could never do nice things for you. Maybe because it was a secret affair, because you guys couldn't go out in public or people couldn't know that you were talking romantically or, you know, this was just a secret affair, you know, a sneaky link, something that was on the low, but agreed to be. Regardless of the exact situation for you specifically, unlike that, this person is reciprocal and they are forthcoming with their emotions and what they're feeling and what they're wanting and, you know, their beliefs and how they feel. They're showing you that reciprocity right out. It's not concealed. It, it feels nice. It's a breath of fresh air for sure. And then with the alignment card, it's like right place, right time. So maybe you've been ready for this, but this wasn't ready. That's another thing. People, they get lost in the sauce of manifesting and then they start over manifesting and forcing it and then going into a self-sabotaging space because they forget like, see the power with, or sorry, the problem with believing you're the operant power means that everything is also always your responsibility. So if you're the operant power, then if you don't do it, it doesn't get done. So you immediately put yourself in this rat race, in this hamster wheel of never being able to receive anything. So it's like good, but only in a certain point of the manifestation process, not something that you want to believe like as a like non-moving truth that all, is always applicable because it's not always applicable. It's not always something you want to apply. It's something you want to apply when you're moving towards a goal like, okay, I want to lose this, you know, uh, weight. So I'm going to, you know, be the operant power and I'm going to remain in control and I'm going to consistently make these choices. But when it's time to have a release and a relief, you want to allow yourself to receive. You want to allow yourself to be open. You want to allow yourself to be treated even. Um, so it doesn't always apply. So anyways, there's been things happening outside of your hands. You know, it's been on the other person's end. It looks like the alignment issue was. So you may have run yourself ragged and just be coming into this realization, unfortunately, after you've done all this work for some of you, but some of you, it's still early enough in the process for you to be fine. Uh, regardless, we got strength, we got confidence and competition. So you guys are actually showing up in a divine, very healthy masculine energy very confident. You have strength and power. You're disciplined and you're in control and it's making people really see your, your value. You're attracting true connections, people who really want you, people who really want to deal with you, be with you, and people who see your value, people who are also strong, not people who are looking for an easy way out or some sort of quick instant gratification, people who are a match to this energy and in alignment. So I love that. Now we also have back and forth and investigation. Goodness gracious. I'm like, who the heck does this even apply to? I'm going to clarify real quick with tarot spirit back and forth and investigation because we already have this energy. And then we have the energy of the person coming in with the reciprocity. This is obviously your energy and competition is people, you know, being around you. That's more of an energy of people wanting you but not everyone who wants you is gonna take action. So that's more the energy around you. And then we have back and forth and investigation and I'm like, please don't let this be like a fourth energy. I'm just like, come on spirit. And it's a fourth energy. We have the Knight of Swords coming in with some new communication. <laughs> it's all good. So back and forth and investigation is another energy. It's another energy outside of the ones that we've picked up on so far. And it's looking like this is something that's brewing. You're still getting to know this person. You're in the investigation phase and vice versa. So both of you are getting to know each other and we have a back and forth going on here. So this is like, it's just giving me vibes of someone that you chat with, like someone who you text a lot with, someone who you message a lot during the day. Someone who you see at work or school, someplace that you go frequent, like this could be um, someone at your gym that now you're talking to, building a rapport with, and you're starting to, you know, crush on this person as you have this back and forth Knight of Swords communication. Um, yeah, you guys, you got options. You got options. There are multiple people showing up. You have options. All right. Spirit, 
tell us more about the unexpected twists coming in for group two. There's obviously multiple options here. We have the hammer. So you're taking your time and you are taking every offer uh, seriously. You're considering it. You're looking at these people, you're observing them, and you're taking your time, you're having the conversations. Some of you, this is very new for you, you're kind of turning into this like social butterfly um, because it's very new for you to have multiple options or to feel like you're being chased, to feel like you're juggling. Um, so that's so interesting. We have the hammer in the uh, hand of cards, and those are the first two cards that came out for group one as well. We also have the alignment card that came out for them. There's a few uh, similarities. You may have been called to group one as well, but chose group two. It felt stronger. There's some similarities between the two of the two of the groups. Um, but like group one, you guys are weighing your options. Oh, nice. We got the girl talk card. So you're leaning on your friends or you're talking a lot to your mom or your sister or your female friend, your divine feminine friend or your friend that's also dating. Uh, you're leaning on someone who is able to give you some valuable advice and also just allow you to vent to help you to feel grounded, to help you work through some of the things that you're going through because you really do have a lot going on. The hammer says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So yeah, repetitive, going on multiple dates, interrogation, really getting to know e people and to take a fine tooth comb and investigate, to go back and forth because there is competition. <laughs> there is multiple people that want you. So it's like, I'm going to take every offer slowly and seriously. I'm going to see what they're really talking about and what they're really offering. Even the secret affair energy that's coming back. I'll pull on each one and see what will happen with them. But we have the hand of cards that says take a risk, be strategic options, not showing your hand and gambling. So you're definitely taking the gamble. It's a numbers game. That's how it feels for you right now. You're like, listen, I got multiple options. So there's no reason for me to slow down or to move any differently. There's no reason for me to move in a way that would benefit someone else. I'm going to move in the way that benefits me the most by being open and honest about what I'm going through right now with this person that I'm close to that's also going through this and I'm holding my cards close to my chest with the hand of cards it says take a risk did I read that one already uh being strategic options not showing hand and gambling and then girl talk says time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun so again you're in this energy where you're having fun you're enjoying your life nice we got the date card it says meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning and setting a date so the unexpected twist happening in your love life is you're going on dates there's multiple people asking you on dates you're meeting multiple new people. You're getting back out there. And things are really looking up for you. There's multiple dates coming. And then we have Axe and Soulmates. Good googly moogly. You guys are really trying to find your soulmate. You're really trying to find your perfect match. And I feel like that's why you're taking your time because I'm like, I'm just kind of shocked a little bit that even with the secret affair energy, that reunion energy, I'm still seeing you take that person seriously. So it must be like one of your exes or, you know, secret affairs where it's been enough time, you're not mad anymore or vice versa. It was something that it's like, okay, both of you were just young when you talked. So now you're in a new energy. Maybe nothing dramatic happened, but you just weren't a match at a previous time. Because you're taking them seriously. They're either coming in with a lot to say or a serious love offer. I'll, I'll pull on them next. I'm going to pull on each individually and see what it's giving. Um, soulmate says soul, uh, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. I don't know if you're meeting your soulmate or if you're looking for them. Spirit, are they meeting their soulmate or looking for them? <coughs>
interesting. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, so it's much more of a May the best one win. And we also have the World card here, so you're actually showing up in an energy where it's like, I am ready and I am at the world card point in my life. The world card is the last card of the major arcana in the tarot deck. So if you're at the world card position, that means that you've been through all the other major arcana in the tarot deck, like the devil card, temptation, the death card, you know, re regeneration, the tower card, where it just really hits the fan. Um, you've been through, you know, all the hard stuff, even temperance coming into balance, the chariot moving forward with your dark and light side. You've been through all of it. So with the world card coming up in the Knight of Cups in reverse, you're not waiting for a savior. You're dating. You're literally just dating. It's, it's not magical in the sense that it's like, oh, you know, this is coming out of nowhere. Like we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is very much so earned. Um, so I would say you're finding your world card, like perfect match for you now. It's not soulmate in the sense that, oh, there has to be this super deep spiritual connection because you're at the point in your journey where you've learned that those connections come with lessons and burdens and hard stuff attached to it. So you're not looking for that kind of soulmate experience. You're looking for the soulmate experience where it's like, we're just a really good match. But Knight of Cups in reverse, you're not waiting for a savior and you're taking your time. You're seeing like, this person is my soulmate because they're ready and willing now and they're putting in the work and they're showing up properly and they've done the work up until this point. They're in alignment. You know, they're not a soul, you know, it's not a soulmate because this is like someone's spirit thrown into my life because I got to take them from a boy to a man's. It's like, this is a soulmate because... <coughs> They're at the same point in evolution that I'm in. In this world card energy, they're in alignment and they're ready to, you know, be reciprocal. Um, Spirit, what will happen with this secret affair reunion? What will happen? We have the Ace of Swords. Wow, the Nine of Coins and the Judgment card here. So that's why you're giving this an actual chance. Judgment card, there's definitely a reason this person has been placed into your life at this time. It's no mistake. There's a reason they've been placed into your life at this time, and it's because Nine of Pentacles, they're actually compatible with you right now. They're ready, and they're coming through with a lot of communication with that Ace of Swords. I felt that before, too, with them. Before we pulled tarot, I'm like, mm, they're coming up in a different kind of way. It seems like they're coming in with a lot of explanation and communication. Like they're really telling you what's happened in the past. They've gone through significant growth. So judgment card, this is your opportunity. And I feel like that's why you're giving this an opportunity to see like, okay, would it be worth it? What will happen here? What do we actually look like as a couple? Spirit, what will happen re with reciprocity? <clears throat> An alignment. Wow. Wow. We have the page of coins in reverse and then the ten of coins that came out. Page of coins in reverse is like, okay, they're coming through in a serious energy. Page of coins in reverse. They're not a point in their journey where they're um, like a page, like someone young who doesn't really know what they're doing. They're not an F boy, F girl. They're coming in in a very strong uh, Taurian, Capricorn, Earth sign energy. Pentacles is earth sign, uh, which would be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They're coming in in this energy of valuing stability. And also in a ten of coins um, in their life at this time where they're like in this ten of coins position. And that's why they have that to offer. We have the seven of swords in reverse. So this person is out of their self-sabotaging era, out of their everything is about me era. And they're in their era where it's like, I'm able to provide, I'm able to take care of, I'm able to sustain. I'm all about stability. I want a long-term relationship, not looking for something temporary or not looking for someone temporary, looking for true love, looking for true partnership. Spirit, 
Can you tell us more about this back and forth? Can you tell us more about competition? Honestly, this is going to be a good love offer as well. We have the death card, the three of wands, the king of cups, very strong, powerful energy. With the death card, I feel like there's going to be a high turnover rate. And with the three of wands, it's because it, and it's because three of wands, you're in expectation of other options coming forward. And king of cups, you already have some really good options. You're going to have a minimum of two really good options, but I want to say three. I feel like all the options in your life are good right now because also the people who aren't showing up in an energy where they're trying to offer or add something to your life, they're not able to communicate with you because again, you're showing up in this strength and confidence energy where it's getting a lot of people's attention, but not a lot of people are able to sustain that. And I feel like they're kind of energetically blocked from you. You may have done some sort of uh, in invisibility spell or protection spell that would specifically keep people who are going to waste your time away from you or to keep yourself invisible to them, to keep them out of your energy. You may have done something like that because it, it feels like, you know, certain people couldn't get in if they wanted to. But again, even with the secret affair, with the judgment card here and the nine of pentacles, even that offer is good. Every offer you're receiving right now is good, group two. And the unexpected twist is that there's so many offers happening right now. Like I said, there was a lot of similarities uh, between group one. Um, and if you made it this far in the reading, comment below. There is no shortage of love offers. There is a king of cups around every corner per. There is a ten of pentacles around every corner. I am in my season of divine alignment and I am confident. Ooh, I love this energy, you guys. We have... If you are worried you don't have the strength to move on, think of how much strength you are using to hold on and then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. Spirit is making it clear you couldn't avoid this outcome if you wanted to. There's so many options that even if one ducked off, again, you'd still have multiple good options coming towards you. So this is inevitable. This is an inevitable part, an inevitable part of your journey. The multiple love offers are coming through, period. Um, so if right now you're feeling like I don't have the strength to wait, you don't need to, you don't need strength to wait. You don't need strength to receive right now. Your priority is to enjoy your life because this is already coming through group two. And that is the truth that maybe you've been missing. So allow yourself to go back into your receptive energy and to relax, do more of what you love. Make new priorities, make new goals if you're just like someone who always likes to work or have your hands on something to keep yourself busy. But this is already coming. That's what I got for you, group two. My Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like a private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the yellow stone, we're using the mermaid tarot for you today. And we are gonna see what unexpected twist you do not see coming. All the piles have been super juicy. So <laughs> I'm sure that'll be no different. We got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of passion, a lot of sacral chakra energy building up for you, group three. And I feel like it's all about to come to a head. No pun intended. It feels like the energy has been brewing for a while. And there's a shakeup finally coming through. Spirit, this is for group three. Group three with the yellow stone. What unexpected twists are coming in for group three that they do not see coming? Oh, we got the fantasy card. So yeah, that's that same like Knight of Wands that was at the bottom of the deck energy where it's like there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of sacral energy. There's a little bit of like, you know, fantasy role play energy where there's some other, you know, very sensual um integration happening here where it's like, oh, there's a lot of passion and a lot of sacral chakra energy. <laughs> Spirit.
Spirit for group three, the unexpected twist they do not see coming. What unexpected twists are coming for group three? Wow. You're getting an apology, which will be really nice. We have guilt and real deal. Um, so there is someone coming back with a lot of guilt and they're letting you know that they realize that this was the real deal. Like this is a connection that they should have given a chance and that they still want to give a chance if that option is still on the table. So one of these options you do know we have reciprocity, fantasy, and competition. So this is a very strong energy. Honestly, this competition energy, I'm sure, is talking about multiple people being in your energy at this time. But we have someone coming through with reciprocity. They're into what you're into, I'm also hearing. So if you have any unique tastes, okay, any unique fantasies, this person, clink, clink, bleh, okay, they're coming through with that reciprocity. They're right here with you, okay? They don't think that, you know, you're weird or what it is you're asking for is out of pocket. They are with it, very much so in a reciprocal energy like, <laughs> ta, listen, you think you're, <laughs> you think you're on some, sh okay, just wait till you get a taste of me. Um, so I like that. Yeah, we have Dangerously and Wake Up Call. The Wake Up Call did come out with the Guilt and Real Deal card. Or sorry, no, it was the Dangerously card. Dangerously came out with Guilt and Real Deal. Um, so Dangerously is all about someone taking a risk, someone going against the grain, someone doing something that feels dangerous or out of the ordinary or out of their comfort zone. And it is looking like it's a result of this Wake Up Call that this person is having. They're wanting to live dangerously. They're wanting to move forward with you they're wanting to give it a real shot a real opportunity um they've had some sort of wake-up call so this person may come through and like spill the tea like my car broke down you know the moment I stopped dealing with you everything just hit the fan all this crazy stuff happened my grandma got sick my dog passed like just craziness um this person definitely has a chip on their shoulder. And to be honest, I feel like it's freaking them out a little bit because they're like, dang, did you do some magic on me? Like, did you do some <laughs> black and magic? Why is all this bad luck happening just because I stopped dealing with you? Like, what is going on? Maybe it was their karma and that's the explanation as to why stuff started to hit the fan. But I feel like they were really avoiding a level up. They were really avoiding getting to that next level and surrendering to that next level of love and intention and life. And spirit was like, okay, I'm going to hit you where it hurts because that's obviously the wake up call that works for you. <laughs> Wow, we have end all be all. I want to clarify and see because this card did fly right over there like on top of their cards. So we did have the real deal card that came out for them as well. I would not at all be surprised if they were trying to offer you some sort of forever offer feeling like you are their end all be all. But I also feel like that's just the energy around you right now where it's like you're about to walk into something because we got this reciprocity energy. This person coming in competitive, wanting to fight for you. So, Spirit, clarify end all be all. Is that talking about the person with the guilt who's had the wake up call? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. It is looking like them. This is talking about someone, Eight of Swords in reverse, who has been released from some past version of themselves. I wonder what it is. You guys probably already know what it is. And to be fair, it would be different from person to person. For some of you, it could have been a fear of commitment. For some of you, it could have been a third party in the way. For some of you, it could have been this person had an ascension or a growth that they had to go through. Uh, for some of you, the Eight of Swords in reverse is the wake up call the personalized uh, package that spirit delivered to them so they can get it deep in their spirit and get this level up before it's too late. <laughs> um, but we have stuck in the past an investigation. So to be honest, there's multiple people in your energy and around you right now. This is a really good time to do a uh, clearing ritual manifestation candle. 
I sell manifestation candles on my Etsy shop. I can do a clearing candle for you. Or if you have like anything more serious like spiritual warfare, gang stalkers, or someone specifically that you need to like really banish, like uh, ta, more than clearing, I'm going to put you back in your place. I do have black manifestation candles. I don't offer them on Etsy because people just get excited and they be like, doing the most just like can you like I mean the worst of the worst to someone for the smallest thing so I don't even try to make it seem like I'm about that but low-key I'll get you together if that's what you need um just ask for a black candle just specify like in the notes if you need that but this is a good time to do some clearing regardless of how you like to you know clear your energy because there's multiple people that are just on your page stalking you following you stuck in the past um having a hard time accepting the version of you now spirit is making that clarification it's not even that they're stuck in the past in the sense that all these people have romantic past with you this is like friends people who <coughs> thought they were better than you at a certain point but now you've had a level up or you've peaked and now you know their life is on the downturn so it's looking like hold on what's going on here you know, this is multiple people. So just make sure you get, you know, that clearing done. Because there's a lot of people watching you at this time. Wow, spirit. What unexpected twist is coming in for group three? We have the engagement ring and seduction. I definitely felt that seduction with that Knight of Wands energy. A strong fire energy, strong passion energy, sacral chakra energy. So there is some seduction happening right now. For some of you, it's you in this seduction energy. For the other half of you, it's other people trying to get you out of your spot. People trying to seduce you, trying to get you to really approach them. I feel like you're getting a lot of that right now where it's like people are giving you different signs and signals and like making themselves available to you, trying to get in your vision so that you guys can have a moment, some sort of eye contact, some sort of like moment. And it's like you're kind of trying to dodge it. Um, but people are trying to get you to bite. And at a previous point in your journey, you may have taken the bait. You may have gone out, gone out of your way to talk to people or to make certain things happen. Um, but I don't feel you doing that anymore. Uh, seduction says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third-party interference. And the engagement ring says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So I see you really in your mood, really in your honestly seductive bag, like you're having a good time living out these fantasies with someone who's reciprocal. The fantasy could just be like that, like traditional family picture. It doesn't have to be something like super sacral. Um, but for a lot of you, it is. <laughs> okay, it's a steamy hot romance. We have the coffin, and it does look like you are letting people go. The coffin and the snake. The coffin says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And then snake says competition. We got that. We got the competition card. Enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So there's things that you have not let go from the past for some of you if it was a third party situation specifically that you dealt with. If not, then that's not your, you know, that's not your story. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Um, but some sort of snake energy, someone who was very clever, someone who was malicious, someone who made you second guess your choices and decisions. It may be a narcissist. I feel like that word is overused, but it does kind of feel like there's a little bit of narcissistic energy. And I feel like that energy is just around you in general, because even from people who used to know you as friends, they feel this weird sense of entitlement to you. So you were either a super people pleaser, where it's like you gave people the, this expectation that that's who you were always going to be, or people saw you a certain kind of way in their head, and now that you've leveled up, they just can't handle it. Um, but yeah, let's see if any anything else wants to come out from this deck. Spirit for group three, unexpected twists they don't see coming. There is an engagement, you know, coming through. We have the kisses card, I'm telling you. There's so much like physical intimacy energy 
It says unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, which is exactly reciprocity and falling in love. I feel like falling in love. I get that energy with you guys. I see you falling in love and I feel like it's going to be with this new person that's offering you this fantasy energy. Um... I'm going to pull on all three of these energies and see what spirit has to say about all of them, spirit. What will happen with this person feeling guilt? I mean, they're showing up in this real deal, deal energy, eight of swords in reverse, liberated, free from whatever was holding them back, free from their baggage. And I really do feel like they have faced their demons. Wow, the death card. I don't feel like I'm not getting a necessary ending, though, to be honest. I feel like the death card is you guys leaving the past behind and starting over on a new foot and giving it a try. Um, for some of you, obviously, it will be more straightforward um, because we did get a little bit with the coffin and the snake that there was like an inability to let go what has happened in the past. You feel like you always are going to have to look over your shoulder with someone and you can't see them beyond the manipulator or you know whatever it is that they were in the past and I've had situations like that where I've literally let go of people just because I simply could not get the image out of my head of what it is that they did to me and I just couldn't let it go and I'm not a person who holds grudges and um you know I, I don't have hate for these people or think about them but it's just like I'm not going to let you back into my life after you do certain things. I can't unsee that. I've already seen that that's who you are, even if it's deep down, even if you mask it really well. And I'm not going to pretend like I didn't see it and drink some, you know, clown juice just to be in your space. Like, so some of you, it's, it's going to be a, you know, very straightforward death kind of thing. Some of you, it's starting over on a new leaf. All these cards want to jump all the way off the table. We have the Page of Swords, which is an energy of starting new. Also, that's an energy of starting with small communication, like this person having to earn back your love and trust. Um, so I think the first start is just them getting your new number or them getting unblocked by you or them talking to you and it'll start small. And I feel like that's the best way to go about it because even though they're really sure with this end all be all and real deal, even though they're ready to live dangerously and take the risk and be with you, I still feel like that can very much so overwhelm you if they come in in too much of an energy that triggers you and makes you feel like they're showing up as just another person that wants to control you. So I feel like the best way for them to come through is in an energy where they're giving you space and they're just trying to build consistency with you again to build habit to build familiarity to allow you to get to know them and who they are today so that you're not constantly thinking about the older version of them every time you talk to them so we have the high uh Ooh, wow. We have the Five of Wands, High Priestess, Page of Wands. You're going to need some time. Six of Wands in reverse with the Five of Wands. Honestly, it just feels like all you have is disdain for this person. And it really feels like now that they're showing up in this energy and talking about the past, it's like they're no longer gaslighting you. So you're also kind of re-experiencing things for the first time because when people gaslight you for so long or when they tell you a certain thing isn't true or when they don't admit to certain things, subconsciously your mind kind of doesn't allow you to even fully believe it, even if you know deep down in your spirit. But once someone finally admits it, it's like it activates it all over again. It's like you're experiencing it all over again because it's all, all on the table and they're admitting it. So you may be getting pissed about this all over again. If you guys do move forward, it's not going to be fast. We have the Ace of Swords and the Hermit. So it's very interesting. You're like calling this person after you're going on dates. Like you're treating them like a friend. Ace of Swords, I'm seeing a lot of communication. But with the Hermit, I'm not seeing you guys seeing each other in the 3D. I'm not seeing you like actually opening your heart up to this person so i feel like it just takes time we got the page of wands a lot of page energy coming up for you we had the page of swords and then now the page of wands so you guys are starting over on a new leaf and also page of wands is like some light flirty communication versus them coming in like i'm about to lay this pipe on you or i'm about to cookie you down like instead of coming in in a hyper sensual energy or trying to seduce you they're, you know, coming in page of wands, like with little, you know, cute little aspects of communication, small, little, short, like 
you know, messages and things. It's nothing too much. So it's good. And then we have the high priestess. I feel like you're taking things in your time and your way. And um, you're just taking your time. All right. Spirit, what will happen with reciprocity, fantasy, and competition? We have the Knight of Cups. This person is coming through. They're offering you love and new experiences. Knight of Swords in reverse. And a very... Um, in a very open kind of way. It's very interesting how the sword's coming up in reverse for this person, whereas with them, we had the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords coming up upright, talking about their communication and how they're being very strategic. But with this person, they're actually leading with their heart, Knight of Cups, versus what they have to offer or like their accomplishments in this life. They're trying to get to know you on a deeper level and their desire is to make an emotional connection with you. So you're building and falling in love with this person. Okay, we got the King of Swords. Oh my goodness. And the King of Swords came up upright. So they are getting some upright swords energy. But the King of Swords is more like executing at the right time. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Oh my goodness. So this person is like, I'm going to be very methodical about when I strike. And when I strike King of Swords, it's not going to be something that you have to think about. It's going to be a very clear offer. So they're offering you a relationship at the minimum, but you guys may be jumping right into an engagement, to be honest, especially if you're late 20s, early 30s and beyond. Like if you're ready, you've lived some life and you've had some personal experiences, all that growth stuff, especially if you're in the era in your life where you're ready for that, you guys may jump right to engagement. But they're leading with their heart and with this King of Swords, they're striking at the perfect time. Four of Swords in reverse, they're taking their time and they're showing you all that they have to offer um, and all that they are. You know, they're not hiding themselves. Spirit, can you clarify stuck in the past and investigation? What will happen with this? We have the Queen of Swords. You guys are getting so much Swords energy. What the heck? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you may have swords in your Mars placement or in your Venus. Or not swords, damn, air. You may have air in your Mars or your Venus. Um, and that's very interesting how you're showing up as a true pair to this reciprocity and family, uh, fantasy energy. You're showing up as the Queen of Swords. They showed up as the King of Swords. So you're, listen, anybody coming against you will be dealt with right at the time where they cross the line. You know how when we were talking about this King of Swords, it was an energy of them making one fail swoop, like when it's the right time, they're making a clear cut offer. You're coming at this stuck in the past investigation energy the same exact way. If people aren't directly adding you, you don't have nothing to say. Unless it's right on your plate, right in front of you, and someone is being clear that they have a problem with you and clear, like they're clearly messaging you, you're letting it go. You're not looking for a problem. You're not going out of your way to start, you know, trouble or to get mixed up with people who have nothing to lose. We have the five of swords and the six of pentacles in reverse. So you're actually in an energy where it's like, it's not worth it. Look at this five of swords. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's being comforted by the penguin. Five of Swords is a card of chaos and they're playing around with the swords, these kids, and she cut herself. And now her angels have to comfort her. Six of Swords in reverse, you're past that. You've grown past that. You know what the ramifications are if you get involved with people and you simply won't give them the satisfaction. Ace of Pentacles, you got something to lose. And Ace of Cups, you have focus and intention and things popping off in your life. You're not giving them the time of day. We have the judgment card here. You know that they're scrambling because karma is coming to collect. You know that people are scrambling because you're about to be taken off the market. You have all these options. It's finally your time and people are trying to swoop in before they miss out on the deal. But uh, 
that will not be, you know, the case for you. I don't see you engaging in anyone and trying to, you know, go back and forth with friend, family, or ex-lover that's stuck in the past, stuck on an older version of you. If they're coming in in an energy, if he's smart, he's going to act like a fan, okay? <clears throat> if they're smart, they'll act like a fan. If they're not smart... They're going to try to treat you how they maybe used to be able to treat you. And they're going to get met with that Queen of Swords, period. Wow. You're stepping into your power group three. That's what I have for you. Like I said, you can hit me up on Etsy if you need some spell work done or manifestation candles. I got you. Um, and that's where you can find me for private tarot readings. My Etsy is in the description. But yeah, that's what I got for you, group three. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the green stone, this is your reading. And we're going to see the unexpected twists that you do not see coming in love spirit. This is for group four, group four with the green stone. Show us the unexpected twists coming for group four. First, we have back and forth and dates. This is going to be really exciting because someone you've been having some sort of back and forth with, to and fro with, some sort of flirtation, some sort of chemistry, harmony, tension. Finally, this person is taking you out. Finally, you guys are going on a date. So that'll be really exciting and refreshing and a good change of pace because it's like, okay, flirtation is fun. Me personally, I never get tired of flirting. I could flirt for an eternity, especially if I'm dealing with someone who's really good at it or someone that I really like. Oh, I just noticed there's another card that flipped over. Wow, it's the deep in love card. So maybe you guys were avoiding this because you knew you would fall deep in love or maybe they knew that. Maybe they knew that they weren't ready for all of that. Maybe that's why there was a back and forth or so much build up to it. Um, but this person is really kind of falling for you right after you guys finally go on that date. So it is looking like your next date is a very strong magnetic connection, specifically if it goes with what we're seeing here with the back and forth. I don't feel like if you just so happen to go on a date with someone randomly that this is necessarily talking about them, but more for you. Let's see. Spirit for group four, the unexpected, goodness gracious, let's see, oh my goodness, we have being bold and shake up, there's definitely something that's going to happen, what's going on, okay, people are really kind of getting excited about you for whatever reason, you guys may have had a glow up, we have the excitement card that came out, so you're excited, you're getting a lot of attention, and to a degree, that's a part of the unexpected twist that all of a sudden there's all this excitement and fair, fanfare going on in your love life right now. All of a sudden you're getting multiple offers and people are trying to take you on dates, trying to, you know, learn more about you. But it's like they're fighting over you because there's multiple people. So I don't know what this shakeup is. Check out Uranus. See if it's having any uh, effect on you right now. I like the F time passages because it shows you all your short-term and long-term transits. So I like that one. But the only thing with that one is I think you have to like pay a dollar to see into a future transit or a specific transit. So if you want to look at like a transit happening since months from now, I think you have to pay. But I like time passages. It's like way better than like the pattern or those apps that only show you like the transits they want to show you. Time passages shows you everything. But anyways, you may want to look at your chart, look at your transit, see what's going on right now because it's looking like you are having some action and there is a shakeup happening and it's just got Uranus's name all over it. Like, or Pluto, it feels like one of our outer boys, one of our outer planets are active right now and they're having an effect with your love life. Like, like Jupiter conjunct Uranus or conjunct Venus something about expansion, something about love, fourth house energy, new beginnings, new cycle starting. Hmm. We have differences 
and trust issues. So if you have had a physical glow up and that is why all this is happening, to be honest, it is triggering you a little bit. It's hard to trust people. I'm hearing trust issues by Drake. <laughs> um, and even if you've had like an energetic glow up or an emotional glow up, uh, 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 what's the mental glow up, say you're having a mental glow up, it's still putting a bad taste in your mouth because it's like, wow, I'm getting all this attention because I'm showing up in much more of a confident energy. I'm showing up in that attractive energy that people actually want to see. So it's triggering you because it's making you think about the past and you're like, so people literally, you know, would ignore me or, you know, treat me well just because I was naive or treat me wrong because I was naive. It's triggering you. And then we have arrogance and sneaky link. I'm like, spirit, what? What do we have going on here? Anything else from this deck for groups for spirit? Honestly, I feel like some of you guys are holding out for the long-term connection, but you may be entertaining a sneaky link connection because you feel like you don't like this energy of being chased, how people are showing up uh, arrogant or in an energy of feeling entitlement when it comes to you. So you may be hanging out with a sneaky link to avoid facing these options that you have because it's very uncomfortable and all happening at once. The sneaky link may be someone that you're familiar with or you're used to as well. Someone where it's like easy for you to connect with because it's like, well, at least I ain't getting another body. Like if I'm going to mess with someone, at least it's not going to be another body on me. I already been with them. <laughs> okay. And then we have the guilt card here. So yeah, you guys, it, it feels a little bit like survivor's guilt where it's like you made it out of that tough time and it's like <clears throat> the older version of yourself is kind of hurting. So it's taking you some time to warm up. We have the union card here. At the end of this, I, I do see you settling. I do see you choosing someone, not settling, but choosing someone. Um, and settling down into a connection, into a union. So the unexpected twist that you do not see coming is you're going to be going on a lot of dates. There is someone falling in love with you with the deep in love card, and it's likely going to be this person you had this back and forth flirtation with, but for whatever reason you were out of, out, out of line, out of sync, at an earlier part in your journey. Something was blocking you. There was a reason you couldn't be together. And... That's finally manifesting. You're finally able to move forward. And it looks like things are happening very quickly. This person is falling for you very quickly. Um, but I'm not sure quite yet if that's going to be the union energy. Um, we have shake up and being bold. So again, you're getting a lot of attention right now. And there's just a lot of excitement when it comes to you. And a lot of excitement that you're feeling. For you, it feels more bittersweet. You're feeling like there's some people that are getting left behind or... You're feeling guilty about how you allowed, uh, you know, people to perceive you or to treat you. We have the girl talk card. So it, look, it looks like you're leaning more so on your friendships. Also, if you don't have a friend, I do see uh, you meeting a new friend because there's definitely an energy of someone being here for you. It could be your spirit guides and your ancestors. I saw this little clip of Ice Spice and she was talking about like her spirituality, her spiritual journey. And she's like, a lot of people don't know this, but I pray all day, every day. I'm always talking to God, da, da, da. And she's someone who's definitely a part of the younger crowd in the new wave and this it girl energy. But like you don't get that try hard energy with her or I'm here to please you. She's very much so centered in herself and it's like. You know, she makes that kind of catchy music, but she's not ashamed about it. And she's also not like performing and making it her whole identity. Like, I don't want to say Meg, but just to give you an example, like when Meg came out, you know, she kind of came out like, ad. everything about me is an ad in a, in a purr, in a, in a tongue out. Everything about me is like, let me get you a shot. At, let me dry the boat and give you a shot of Hennessy. You know, it was like, this is who I am. I'm all, ah, is me. 
Whereas with Spice, it's a bit different. You know, she has multiple sides to her and she kind of like just remains in her power. So I say all that to say, I see that's the energy that you're in. And I see you meeting a friend and that'll be nice. Uh, Girl Talk says time with friends, moving on, happily single and living in the moment, having fun. So for the most part, you're going on dates, you're having fun um, and you're getting to know people. We have the sunglasses card. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception and focusing out. So be careful, group four. There's definitely people around you who have intentions for you um, and you want to program yourself before anyone else can program you just be very mindful and take things very slowly the thing that should win you over is consistency at this point because otherwise you may get swept up in the feelings because with this sneaky link or not even the sneaky link but with this arrogance card again group four there's an energy of people feeling like they have some sort of weird entitlement over you and your time and your energy and so you want to keep those at bay this is a good time to practice some protection work. I do manifestation candles on my Etsy shop. I could do a white one for you. Or if you're dealing with like stalking, people who are gaslighting you or gang stalking you, anything dramatic. Um, I don't offer black on my Etsy shop, but just write in the comments, can I get a black? And I'll do a black one so we can do more of like a banishing, return to sender, more aggressive kind of working. Versus like a clearing and, you know, just kind of subduing people. Like if you really need to, <coughs> skirt, skirt, I got you. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of eyes on you right now. You've had some sort of level up. You're looking like, like you have an, like a halo around your head. Like your aura is showing up. I'm seeing like very, uh, I'm seeing white, a foggy white. I'm seeing yellow and I'm seeing a light pale blue. Um, for your aura, it's very, very attractive. Like people are obsessing over you right now and everybody wants to own you. And I feel like that's, what's making you feel like you have these trust issues because it's like, okay, yeah, it's nice to be, you know, finally chased and to have people wanting to spend all this, you know, time and energy on me for some people even coin. Okay. Money on me. But I'm not like these people with the differences card. Like, I would never make someone feel like they didn't have a choice or pressured or chased like this. You're just taking it the wrong way. Like, if they, 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 they're chasing you to show, like, this is what I'm really about or to win you over. But you're taking it differently. You're taking it as you're not giving me a choice. You're making me feel uncomfortable. And I don't feel like you're taking it the wrong way in the sense that your feelings aren't valid, but you're taking it a way that I don't feel like people are consciously intending. So it's kind of just rubbing you the wrong way more than anything. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify each of these energies and see what's going to happen. <clears throat> Spirit, what's going to happen with this sneaky link connection? Oh God, we have the devil card. Stay up on my Instagram, Pure Temptation. I just heard, certainly so amazing. I'm now hearing that by Rihanna. S with me is off the anti album, pretty sure. I'm seeing that or hearing that. And we have the devil card. So just pure temptation. You guys <coughs> tempt each other. You're very attracted to each other. There's a strong attraction and desire. Oh my God, they're trying to give you that pipe, okay? We have the Knight of Wands. Wands always has this like sacral chakra, physical intimacy, energy undertone, especially when it's like the wand, like the Knight of Wands or the Ace of Wands, okay? That's somebody trying to dip you down, okay? They are not playing with you. They are trying to <laughs> bang them doomies down, okay? What's going to happen with this connection? Honestly, it'll probably stay physical then. Yeah, we have the six of swords in reverse. So that's like this person, this person serves a very specific purpose. Um, and I mean, six of uh, pentacles in reverse is like, and nothing more. Like you serve a very specific purpose. You give me that good wand when I need it. You know, you give me that, that fun, spicy release, that, you know, temptation, that fun, fiery energy. But beyond that, um, 
You know, you don't really have anything else for them. We have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So at the end of the day, you know your value. And to be honest, it it I think this person, like they're getting a lot of night energy. You guys probably have really good pillow talk, really good conversations, deep conversations and fun, flirty energy. But when it comes to like the 3D with the Queen of Pentacles coming up, it's almost like you know that you're not a match to this person in a 3D level. Like day to day, are our lives compatible? Do we live the same kind of lives? Do we want the same kind of life? You know, it's like Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. They have like, you know, some deep emotional intimacy that they can offer you and they can offer you a good time with the Knight of Wands. But Queen of Pentacles, you do know that you're not compatible with this person uh, on a lifelong level. And it kind of sucks. It's really bittersweet. Maybe you're feeling guilt in relation to them because I, I never fully understood that when it came out. I didn't really get an elaboration on that, like, okay, why do you feel guilty about walking away from someone? I was assuming, like, oh, maybe it's, you know, uh, coming more so from the other people around you, but I feel like you know eventually you have to stop talking to the sneaky link, but I feel like you've emotionally supported each other or created a rapport. There's a sense of normalcy, so you do feel like you're, ah, oh, why am I hearing that? I'm hearing say something, I'm giving up on you, so I'm hearing that song. So, you know, you may be at a, you know, stuck point in your journey with this person where there isn't very, like, say something. I'm giving, I'm about to give up. Say something, do something, show me something, make me stay. That's how this feels. Because it's like, at this point, we both know that we're not compatible on that like 3D uh, domestic kind of level where we could really build a life together. So you know eventually you're going to have to dip on them and it's making you feel bad because you feel like you're using them in the present moment because you already know you're going to leave them eventually. Eventually, That's sad, man. We got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely an underlying energy of letting go of a connection. Spirit, what will happen with this deep in love dates back and forth energy? We have the two of wands. So you guys are going on a date and this person is going to make a final decision about whether they want to proceed. I was getting that energy where there was maybe a third party or work, you know, some sort of third party, whether it's a person uh, or it's their job. Whatever it is, some sort of external circumstance that's like out of your control um, that's been holding them back. We have the Page of Pentacles. There's going to be an opportunity. This person is genuinely being in an energy of being open to try. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something going on here too. This connection is not super simple. Because it's like the best that they have to offer is being present in the moment. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like your angels, your guides, spirit is kind of taking the final step and making it possible for you guys to be together. There's something holding back this connection as well. You would know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that you work together and they don't want no drama <laughs> or vice versa. Wow, we got the world card here. I, I feel like you guys are a really good batch. I don't know what exactly it is. Like, unless this is an ex that they've been dating for like five years, like a long-term relationship where this is like their first, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just a lover. I mean, some people fall in love super deeply, but I'm like, what could be holding them back to this extent? We have the Five of Wands in reverse, so it's looking like their schedule is clearing up or Five of Wands in reverse, whatever was holding them back, whatever chaos was present before is no longer a thing. So they've released something. Also, I just heard bad habit. So this person may have had a bad habit that you didn't agree with and they're releasing that. For some of you, it could be an anger thing. For some of you, this person could be finally getting some counseling, going to therapy, um, for some of you, it could, a small portion of you, maybe it was an addiction, but you probably already know what that is that was holding them back. So 
try to apply that the best you already know to your situation. Spirit, can you clarify union, shake up, and being bold? Can you clarify this excitement? What's going to happen with these other options? With these other people wanting to be bold towards group four? We have the Knight of Swords. Honestly, it's stressing you out more than anything. And the Ace of Swords. So you're being very clear and up, for, up front with your communication with what it is that you want and need and what it is that you're thinking and feeling. And you're also cutting people off very quickly. It's like the moment you realize that someone's not a match or something is misaligned, you're letting it go. Because Nine of Swords, you're already stressed out. It's too much excitement, too much merriment, too much happening. So you're taking yourself out of the situation so that you can remain grounded and calm. And then Ace of Swords, you're handling people accordingly. So you're communicating to people what exactly you want. Like, I want marriage or I'm looking for a long-term relationship or <clears throat> I'm, you know, going through, you know, whatever I'm going through at this time. You're being clear and communicating to people what it really is for you and what you truly expect. So people are showing up on their best behavior. May the best one win. Spirit for group four. We have love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you. Saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please people is a real act of self-love. And that's what I see. So if you don't feel like going on dates, Spirit is saying nine of swords. Are, like, it doesn't have to be nine of swords. It doesn't have to be something you're stressed about, something that really weighs on you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It can be something that you let go of. It can be something that doesn't affect you. But first, you have to love yourself first by saying no to certain dates or communications. If it's draining or if a person seems draining, if it seems like you're drained after every single time you hang out with someone, cutting them off sooner rather than later is going to be the best course of action. And I do feel like that's what you'll do once you kind of get your grounding. That is your unexpected twist coming, group four. My Etsy shop is in the description. Like I said, you can hit me up if you need some candle magic. I got you. But that is what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon.